Oh, hello, hello, Ray. Um, it's it's R Robert here. I think we spoke a little little while ago. I'm now reading What Can the Bible Teach Us, another of your books, and the Insight book, which is on JW.org, about the All resurrection. Right. Um, I, I've just got a question because it says on What Can the Bible Teach Us, page 33, that all governments belong to Satan. And I thought, well, surely not, you know, my government, surely not Her Majesty, the Crown. She's a good lady. And I don't believe the British Crown and the British government belong to Satan. I'm shocked. Uh, well, uh, what did Jesus say? Who rules the world? Um, he... it, certainly isn't, it certainly isn't God, isn't it? What, 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 what it means is that Satan's pulling the government strings. In, in, and that's why the world. That's why the world's in such a mess, including the strings of the British government and the British Crown. Do you believe the well, Crown well, is? Well, all, 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 all political governments certainly don't belong to God, including the Crown, <laughs> including Her Majesty. Well, I tell you what, watch that video. There's a video. Go on, go on the line and watch the video. Why study the Bible? And I'll show you there what what that means. Uh, you see, Jesus said the whole power is lying in the world of what? The wicked one. Well, the wicked one certainly isn't God, is it? Um, so what, 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 what he's saying is that all governments are influenced by Satan. Does that include the Crown, which is the head of the British well, government? It, it, it includes all earthly governments. Does that include the Crown, which is the head of the British government? Well, I've just said it, it includes all governments. Yeah, but would that include my government, including the Crown, which is the head of the British government? Well, that's all governments, isn't it? You're not answering the question. You know, if, you, if you're going to say the Bible says this, you should have the... the I'm asking you an honest question, mate. I'm, I'm shocked at what I read in well, your I've, book. Well, I've, I've answered it for you. I mean, it, it, it's Jesus' own words in the Bible. Jesus, we'll, Jesus we'll, never talked, sir. Jesus never talked about the British government and the British crown. He never talked about Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II saying, in the I'm Bible. Not saying, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it is. Right, did. right. It so there's no Bible passage which says that Her Majesty the Queen, who's a good Christian lady, she believes in Jesus, she goes to an Anglican church, that there's no Bible I'm verse not, which says that she not, belongs to Satan or that the office she holds, the crown, belongs to Satan. That There's no Bible verse that says that. Yes, well, there's there no, are many... There's no, there's no Bible verse that says Putin or, or any other leader. But collectively, it's a collective right, so, arrangement. So why does your book say all governments belong to Satan? If you believe... Because that's what, because that's what, uh, that's what uh, God's Word says. The whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one. What does that mean? It means... You're taking... <laughs> you're, you need to quote the verse. I think you're quoting 1 John five nineteen. I yeah. yeah, well, that, that verse is nothing to do with governments. You can't take a... Ray, Ray, the context there is a contrast between people who've been born of God in verse 18 and people who haven't been born of God in verse 19. It's talking about individuals who believe and love Christ. Now, Her Majesty the Queen is a Christian who loves and follows Christ. She's part of verse 18, people who've been born of God. But you're demonising. No, no, he's talking about the whole world. You have a look at that video. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going video. to look at videos. I try to get my doctrine from the Bible, not from videos. Otherwise, I'd be spending my whole life reading Mormon videos because they tell me to watch Mormon videos and reading Seventh-day Adventist videos because they tell me to watch Seventh-day Adventist videos and spending hundreds and thousands of hours watching Christian preachers, so-called Pentecostal preachers on Christian TV. I don't have the time to watch endless videos. I need to know from what the Bible says, not what s some video says. Well, I, well I, 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 I just, I just explain what the Bible says. You interpret different to I do. Well, how can you, how can you read the government in one John five nineteen? Could you explain that to me? Well, what's the whole world? The whole world is pulling the whole world's strings. No, it's not. How? Well, it's not. It is. Let, 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 let me let me read the, the passage. Can I read the passage to you? Because we should. I want to get my my beliefs from the Bible. I want to be faithful to the Bible. I don't. Well, if you're faithful to the Bible, what, what 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 did Jesus say? Pray for what God's kingdom to come, for His will to be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Can I? Can you tell me? Can you tell me that, that any government is doing God's will on earth today? 
I believe Her Majesty is a Christian who's trying to do God's will. Yes. I'm talking about the government. I'm, I'm talking, talking about a... worldly governments. No, the, the Bible doesn't address in 1 John 5, 19, governments of the world. It's talking about individuals. And there are people in, in the British government who love Christ, who are Christians, who, who follow Christ. Can yes, I just I read... I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying everybody's... I'm not saying with, everybody with, with, I'm not saying that. Right, can I read 1 John 5, 18 and 19? Well, you don't need to read it. I know well, what you're I, yes, we do need to read it because we should get our doctrine from the Bible. We should go to the Bible, not to videos, to find out about I'm Bible truth. To, no, no, you, 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 okay, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to videos. All I'm saying is the video will put, put it into pictures for you. I'm not trying to say I don't that, want so. it in pictures. I want it I'm in my Bible. Right. I want it well, out of my to, Bible. Well, I want to know what yeah, the Bible I, says. I know what it says. I'm not going to argue with you anyway. Sure. Well, if you want to argue with me... No, I'm no, no, sir, sir, I'm sorry, me. I'm sorry, sir. 1 John 5, 18. Now, it says born of God. That applies to individual people, human beings, not to governments. No government is born of God. So 1 John 5, 18. We know that whoever is born of God does not sin. We know is first person plural. Paul's identifying himself with his readers. And he says, we know that whoever is born of God does not sin. The Greek means practice sin. But he who has been born of God keeps himself and the wicked one does not touch him. The context there is Paul is identifying himself with the first person plural we know with his readers and he says we have been born of God so it's a contrast between people who've been born of God and governments can't be born of God only individuals are born of God and the next verse we know that we are of God another first person plural we know we are of God meaning born of God and here's the contrast the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one it's not talking about governments it talk, it's talking about individuals who haven't been born of God it's a contrast in in 1 John 18 between individuals who've been born of God and in verse 19 individuals who haven't been born of God no reference there to the British government to the British crown or to any government it's individuals It's a contrast between individuals who've been born of God and individuals who haven't been born of God. Because, Ray, governments can't be born of God. You can't have the French government being born of God or the Russian government I mean, being born of God. It doesn't say the government's about, not born, of, born of God, does it? Sorry, could you say that again? Say that. I didn't hear you. I say it doesn't say the governments are born of God. It doesn't say that at all. It, it, it can't mean governments. It's a contrast between people who've been born of God in verse 18 and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one would be individuals who haven't been born of God. This cannot apply to governments because a government cannot be born of God. I want to get back to you. I yeah, sure, I just sure. My, I, just, I was just actually on my way out, but I will get back to you. Thank, th thank you. You've got, do you want me to give you my number or have you got it? Has it come up on your phone? No, it's, it's on my phone. Oh, great, great. Um, it's, it's Robert, as you know. The other thing, very, very briefly, is 1 Timothy 2.5 calls Jesus the man Christ Jesus. Man is Anthropos. Now, that's written 20 years after the resurrection, when you say Jesus Christ became a spirit creature of his resurrection, and then he ascended to heaven as Michael the archangel. He was no longer a human. But in 1 Timothy 2.5, Paul, 20 years, in about AD 60 maybe yeah, about AD 60, little more than 20 years, um, after the resurrection, he calls Christ the man Christ Jesus. The Greek grammar apparently comes from the previous verse, verse 4, but in the English translation, it's a present tense. He is, present tense, the man Christ Jesus. It doesn't say he was a man. He is, at the time that Paul wrote to Timothy, he is the man Christ Jesus. So 1 Timothy 2, 5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And I'm just puzzled by that and other similar verses like Acts 17, 31, where again, post-resurrection, 15 years after the resurrection, Christ is called a man. Uh, not in my Bible. It said, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men. Oh, sorry, it was a man, Jesus Christ. So that's the word man in 1 Timothy 2.5 is anthropos. 
the grammar, uh, I'm not a Greek scholar or a Greek expert, but the grammar in the English translation is present tense. Apparently, the Greek grammar comes from the previous verse. Um, why is Christ called a man at the time that Paul wrote to Timothy in about AD 60? That's more than 20 years after the resurrection. Why is he called a man if... Well, he, well, he was a man, wasn't he, well, on earth? Was is a past tense. The grammar here is is. At the time of writing, Christ is the mediator between God and men, and he is, present tense, the man Christ Jesus. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. It's all written in the present tense. It's not talking about what he was, which would be a past tense. He is, at the time of writing in AD 60, the man Christ Jesus. And Acts 17.31 says the same thing. It doesn't use the word anthropos. It uses a different Greek word, which means a male human, male human being. But Christ is called a man in Acts 17.31 as well. And I'm, I'm just puzzled at this, mate. You know, I'm really, really puzzled. Um, yeah. Because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man who he has ordained... He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. So it says two things about this man. The first thing it says, he's going to judge the world by this man. So after Armageddon, there's going to be a judgment for the... There'll be two judgments, uh, believers' judgments, where their works will be judged, and then a, another judgment for the unbelievers, the great white throne judgment, I think it's called, unless I've got them mixed up. And it says a man is going to judge them, obviously referring to Christ. So at the judgment, Christ is going to be not a spirit creature, he's going to be a man. And, and secondly, it talks about his being risen from the dead. Uh, by the man who he has ordained, he has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. Well, him, the, the antecedent to him is man. Well, it, it, can't be, it can't be a man because Christ is free creature. So I'll have to, I'll have to get back to you. Yeah, 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 fine, Ray. Thank you very much. Sorry to bother you at this yeah. time of the morning. I uh, do, do appreciate it. You, you get back to me when it's convenient. M maybe okay. give me a text. Give me notice when you're going to ring because I, yeah, I never I carry the mobile phone around with me. Yeah. I leave it at home. OK, mate, thank you very much for your help. Thank you. OK, brother. You take care. Take care. Take care, Ray. Bye. 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 Bye.